Today I got a question from a guy whose name escapes me, but he said that he has an embarrassing question. He says, when I start rolling, he's a white belt obviously, when I start rolling, I don't know what I'm supposed to grab, right? And so he's like, Chewy, what grip should I be fighting for? So I'm gonna show you what grips you should be fighting for, no matter what position in jiu-jitsu, I'm gonna show you what you need to fight for. As always, it's my lovely assistant, Mr. Adam Wilson, here to help me, so let's jump right into it. So check it out, let's start from the feet. Everything is going to depend on you, okay? It's very unique to each situation. So you thought I was gonna give you the one grip that you need, right? There's never one grip that you need. There's never one thing that you need. What you gotta think about, and since I have forgotten your name, I'll give you the name of, uh, let's give him a new name. I don't wanna use Bob because it's not an anonymous thing. Let's give him a different name. Let's give him a fun name. What's a fun name, Adam? Felipe. All right, so Felipe. So we're here. Here's what we're doing. We're in our position. Let's say we're starting standing. My grips are going to be 100% determined by my takedown or my guard pull. So let's say, for instance, maybe I want to go for this cross collar snap to the knee, right? Well, then what am I going for? My grip then becomes boom, boom. That's what I'm going for. And if, let's say, if he grabs my collar here, then maybe I've got to break this grip off so that I can get this sleeve and collar, right? But no matter what, I'm trying to accomplish this. Let's go down to a guard position. Let's say that I've got a great, I hate to grab the collar again, but let's say great scissor sweep, right? And that's the move that I wanna go for. Well, then I'm not gonna grab the wrist so much, right? I might do it to get it out of the way, but that's not really what I want, right? I wanna open this lapel up and start to feed into a deep collar. Or maybe I'm going for an arm bar, right? So maybe if I'm gonna go for an arm bar, then I'm trying to figure out a way where I can get that arm into the center of my chest, whether I'm grabbing over top, grabbing behind the tricep, the wrist here, so that I can begin to move. That's gonna be the main grip that I'm gonna fight for. I'm not gonna fight for everything else because everything else isn't necessarily what I'm looking for. Now there's always a choice to play around and mess around to see what happens, but if you're actually trying to go and roll and actually be effective, then that's what we're looking for. Let's say that I get, I'm getting here, getting smashed. For me, for instance, I love the underhook escape. Getting here underneath, it's my favorite way to deal with side control, right? So, I mean, I have other options as well, but it's like my best one. So everything that I do, at least initially, is gonna be trying to get that underhook. So I could start off with the jackhammer to get underneath. If that doesn't work, I can do this hip swing, pop, go underneath here. But I'm trying to figure out a million different ways to get to that underhook because that's my best move. Like if I'm passing, Depends on what the situation is and what I want to go for. But let's say I'm going for my double under position, right? Which is one of my best passes. Then I might start, let's say, in a really tight butterfly. Maybe he's in butterfly guard, right? So I might start here. So my first thing is I want to get this guy flat. Boom. And then I want to start to dig underneath here. Get this first, because I like to get into an over under position. But what I'm really looking for is when he starts to defend this and starts to push away, boom, back into the double unders. Now, you may not have as complicated a way of getting to the double unders, but nonetheless, you get the idea. I'm going for the double under grip, that's what I want. And so when it comes to the grips that you're fighting for, again, Felipe, we can get as complicated as we wanted to, or we want to, it really comes down to what moves are you fighting for? Those are the grips that you want. Again, you don't wanna play around with everything else. You wanna to try to fight for the grips that you're actually hunting for. Again, now if they get good grips on you, you wanna break those, and then we start to go for our own grips. But that's really what it comes down to. When you think of every single technique that you use, it always starts off with grips and, and body positioning. Those are the two biggies. I mean, you can basically create any technique, just you stack grips and body positioning on top of each other. That's what they are, right? And so just an idea to chew on. Next time you're rolling, if you're in this position where you're at a loss of what to do, try to zoom back out and sort of relax and think about like, what do I know to do from this position? And then what's the first grip that I, my coach showed me? What's the first grip that I watched in an instructional? And then look for that grip. That's the first one that you should be fighting for. And if you're in a position where that's foreign to you, you don't know what to do, then talk to your coach. Talk to some of the higher belts in your gym or consult like an instructional or a YouTube video and try to find something. And then again, think about the grips that make that technique or that escape or that whatever that move is work. All right, so I'm finished. Hopefully that helps you, Felipe. Adam. Adam. Adam.